Hi, and welcome to Online Tech PD. My name's Larissa. And I'm Jackie. And we're going to show you how to integrate some gallery games into your Smart Notebook lessons. Excellent. Let's see what we have. So the first one is a category sort. This is an easy one to create, and it's nice to use in class, and you can use it over and over again. The kids would come up. I'm just going to click on it. When you click this blue bar, you can move it up a little bit so we can see the full thing. Kids can come up and choose whether it's a prefix or a root word. I'll do some wrong. We've got lots of them here. And then when they're finished or when they're ready, they can click check and it gives you the check right away. If you want, you can then correct it. And when they're ready to um, finish up or when they're done, they can reset it and try it again. That's great. So this one, let's jump right in and see how it's made. I'm going to click over to the gallery. We're actually, we have this auto hide on to present. I'm going to take that off and go to a new page. You can go to a new page up at top or down on the left. Go to a new page. And in the gallery where all the pictures and these interactives are, you're going to click on the search term and just put in um, category sort. It's really um, great if you could remember the name of some of these activities because then you'll have to try to search through the gallery to find them. So just click on search or hit return. And this is the most important part. You have pictures, but we're not looking for pictures right now. We're looking for the interactive multimedia. So you click on that triangle and you'll see all the category sorts in different colors. Now right now we're not going to, we can show this later, the image. So you pull in any of the colors that are just the straight category sort. When you drag it in, it comes in and you'll notice when you click on it that blue bar is up here. You can move it by the blue bar and the white handle, like any object in Smart Notebook, you can make it bigger or smaller. So to put our content into this category sort, we simply click Edit, and it takes us into the teacher end of this interactive, where you make the answer key for how you want your students to sort whatever topics it is. Okay, so let's put a couple categories. Again, you can do two or three categories, and we'll put noun, nouns, and verbs. Notice. Um, when you see the yellow, it's very light yellow, that it doesn't give you a, a blinking cursor. Okay, so those are our categories. It defaults to have the nouns on the left and the verbs on the right, but they, they don't have to stay that way. You could have more nouns than verbs if you wanted. Um, all you have to do is just change by clicking on that drop down, whether it's a noun or a verb and categorize what the data is. You also don't have to fill it up. Um, you can put the 16 or you can put 10 things or three things. Um, and I'm just um, tabbing between. Okay, so we have a couple things and when you're done you can click OK. If you do want the solve button, you can keep that checked. If you do, don't want a solve button on the front, you can uncheck that. I usually don't put a password in. I just think um, that I'm probably not going to remember it, and the kids really aren't going to go in and, and change it. If they want to make one, great, have them make one. So when you click OK, you're ready to go. You have your words, and um, they can sort away. Now, if you press that solve button, what happens? So the solve button is going to show you what the correct answers are. So keep that in mind when you're choosing whether or not you want that solve button on your activity. All right? Pretty so easy enough. We're going to show you a couple more. So I'm going to go back to the Pages tab, and we'll go to the next. Um, this one's sorry. my favorite. The anagram. Smart calls it the anagram. I call it the jumble. And Larissa and I forever argue over this. If you want to search, search anagram. <laughs> Don't search jumble because you won't find it, but it really is a jumble. So what we're going to do is we're going to click start. We'll show you what this is. It takes a word and it scrambles it. And your students come up to the board. They click and drag the, the bubbles 
and unscramble the anagram. It's running real slow here. Because it's flash and they get a little clunky, so just be a little patient with it sometimes. If it runs slow, you can quit it and then start the file back up. That usually will help. What's nice about this is you can add a clue. So if they click on here, ah. I'm going to show you how you can do that as we go into the, the behind the scenes of this. Nice job. Look at you. Students love this one, and it's really easy to make, so I think it's probably a favorite among teachers, too. This is so easy for doing vocab review or mm -hmm. uh, quiz review and stuff like that. It's great. So to put this into your file, again, you would go to your gallery. You'd search for anagram. And you would choose interactive multimedia. When you put that into your file, we're just going to click on ours and we're just going to click on the edit mode there of our page. But this is what it looks like and it's very similar to the category sort. You click in the box, you choose the words that they're going to unjumble. If you want a clue or a definition or something, you would add that. And you can also add a picture, which we're not going to show you now. We're going to show you that with our next activity, which is an image um, activity. So it's very straightforward, um, and you can choose whether or not it has a timer mm -hmm. for the students. So you can put the clues in and the images, or you can just straight put your names in. The only thing is you can only have five. So if you have ten vocabulary words, just put two pages, and on the next page put another anagram. So that's a way around that. You don't want to put two anagrams on the same page. Always add a page to your file and put a second one in so that you have a, you know, a two-page file with two anagrams instead. Exactly. The flash, the flash items don't like to play nice together.